Hey everyone, uh, I'm out at Levyville Cemetery in Levy County, Florida, outside of uh, the city of Chiefland. And here I just wanted to come and see a few graves. Um, this one here is of my third great grandfather, Emmanuel Studstill. And over here is his wife Rachel and she was born a Shaw and they were both from Georgia and settled in this area in the late 1850s this was their daughter Calistia Levyville is now a ghost town, and this is the only thing out here now that's left of the town, but it was originally the county seat. Once the uh, railroad moved through the city of Bronson, um, they decided to move the county seat to the city of Bronson and not long after that people just moved out of Levyville and buildings were torn down and wood was used elsewhere likely in Bronson Elizabeth Quincy, wife of John Garner. Eighteen thirty three to eighteen eighty five. This is Miss Abigail Wright, wife of Levi Wright, or Levi Wright, born eighteen oh four in Tattnall County, Georgia. Died in 1859. Levi Wright, born in 1801 in Tattnall County, Georgia. Died in 1858. Big cedar tree. And here we have a uh, urban fair cloth. Late 1902 to Mini Rogers. It just says Mooney on it. No names or dates. And 
Smith's uh, Rufus Smith and Carol Ann Cowart Smith. I'm not exactly sure what these were. If these are graves or a grave that was sectioned off at one time. There's holes in, in these. No stones or names or dates. This old uh, fence here and the gates come off. Course, these are going to be kind of hard to read to see. Beth Elizabeth, I think that's Willis. Wow, the, the hand pointing up at the top of this. One well, stood right here. Florine, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. F.H. Butler, 1899 to 1901. J.W. Wilcox, 1850 to 1870. Like there was something right in here. We have this monument. Don't see a name here. It's on the other side. I guess. James S. Let's see if I can look through the fence there. James S. Turner. March 17th, 1829. Died March 25th, 1904. <clears throat> Here is Thula Harrison Clyatt. Tell is another quiet, it's just a little harder to read. And another quiet. <clears throat> oh, okay, I know who this one is Nitro. SC and Viola Clyatt. Take it easy, man. 
So SC was Sebastian Cabot Quiet. Uh, his third wife married my great grandmother, Atlanta Stud Still Webster Quiet. So SC lived in Otter Creek most of his life. Here we have William J. Hudson, 1847 to 1903. This one is another Hudson. I'm not going to be able to make that one out. It's like 1824 to 1895. <clears throat> Here in this sense, Vernon Hudson, 1888 to 1918, I believe. V. Harry Hudson and E. Frankie Hudson, 1892 to 1997, almost 100 years old. Uh, the Hudsons, they're a large family in this area, too. I know some members of my family married into the Hudson family. Oh, here is uh, Macon Stud still. August 14th, 1890 to February 25th, 1910. He's 20 years old. He's in my family as well. I'm sure out here in this open field there were probably a lot of unmarked graves that may have had markers at one time. Uh, now gone. This is WJ Stud Still, 1862 to 1913. This is uh, William Jefferson Stud Still. He was the brother of my great-great-grandfather, Hute Stud still. But, this is it. This is Levyville Cemetery. At one time, there was a Civil War skirmish out here. <clears throat> and, it's where Emmanuel Stud still my third great-grandfather was captured and taken prisoner to Fort Jefferson in the Keys. Emmanuel's farm was about a mile and a half from here. And iron ore was found on his property about the time of 1860, so around the time the war started. And so mining was done on his property to make ammunition for the war. And the Yankees were moving in from Cedar Key and got almost to Levyville. And there was a skirmish and the Yankees met resistance and started retreating. But in the process, Emmanuel was captured. He survived and died in the 1890s, I believe. And there's a lot of stud stills in this area and they all descend from Emmanuel. Just notice this wooden marker here next to this tree. Uh, 
Isaac Highsmith. Born November 22nd, 1810. Died April 6th, 1877. Elizabeth Purdom. Wife of Isaac Highsmith. 1817 to 1900. So I appreciate you watching this video. And this is pretty much everything at Levyville Cemetery. Try and ride up to what used to be Emanuel Studstill's farm and see if I can get some video of that. Just to show you where his farm was at and where the iron was being mined. Pretty much no remnants of it now. So we will catch you then. So I'm out at what was uh, Emanuel Studstill's property. I don't know if you can see it through here or not, but there's a boulder fence right here. Some giant boulders, and they line this property going down. And this was just one portion of Emanuel's property. I don't know if it was him or a descendant or someone else who bought this property later who put this boulder fence up, but it's definitely old. And you can see it pretty good right here. Just found it amazing. that it's here. And it goes to right here. And that's just one plot of land. This next one was owned by Emmanuel as well. All the way down and then a little bit on the right side of the road as well. He acquired these around 1859, 1860, at various points in time. I don't know where his house originally was. Perhaps in that lot behind the, the boulders. This is in rural Levy County, about a, a mile or two north of Levyville Cemetery. I just wanted to document where his land was at and show you guys. Especially this amazing boulder fence. That I only discovered this a couple of weeks ago when I drove by here and had never noticed it before. There is a house back there. I don't think anyone lives in it now. It's, it's a house trailer, but definitely not 1860s. But who knows, maybe his house was there before that trailer a long time ago. That's definitely an old oak tree. Quite amazing. All right, guys. Might take uh, one more video a little bit further up the road and show you guys the property up there.
so here it is guys this was a portion of the manual stud stills land where they found iron ore it's now a cow field just think this land right here was contributed to the Confederacy. Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's the road. It's a beautiful canopied road. And here's across the street. Also owned by Emanuel, so I'm sure that iron was all over here. It was said that they discovered it on top of the ground. Just don't see that in this part of Florida. It's one of the only areas that I've ever heard of it happening in Florida. Uh, thanks for watching and Hope you guys enjoyed it.